Hi everybody and welcome to Scratch Quick Tips Part 3. This time we are going to look at another couple of hotkeys that might help when working with Scratch. Here you can see I have a reverse assembled conform and I have three versions per clip and there's one version, it's the bottom version that's ungraded and there's one version on top that's uh, a warmer grade and the most top version is a colder and slightly darker grade. So when I want to select a specific row here in the construct I could do so by just uh, holding down shift and let's say click this one, click this one and then move those. But there's an easier way to do this. You could as well hold down control and add the one button to it and then the first row gets selected. Or hit Control 2 to select the second row. And by the way, on Mac this works with Control and with the Command key, so you could as well use Command 3 to select the third row. And if you hold down the Control key and hit 1 first and then 3, you can add the selection and then grab those clips and for instance add them to a new construct. here. Right, so now I have the ungraded and the cold graded version here in this construct. So much for that. Um, next hotkey. Let's enter into the player. And go to the matrix. And here I have my versions stack. And one thing that we could do is, uh, for instance, change the grade on the bottom clip and take out the greens like this and a little bit of the yellow color tones like that. And now we want to copy this grade to the shot above. So what we could do is copy, go here, hit paste. There's a much easier and faster way to do this. If you just hold down Command on Mac and Control on Windows and hit the up arrow, you will copy this exact grade one version up above. All right. So now let's do another change on the version clip, like bringing down the gamma considerably. And now we can hit Command arrow down to copy this grade down to the bottom version. It's important to note that the copy process that is done with the command up and down um, respects the settings that are set here in the paste menu. So if you have the add layers option activated and you add layers to your grade, copy this grade up, you have the layers here. If you do that same action again, Scratch will add the layers but not replace the existing ones on the target shot. By the way, the detailed usage of the paste menu is covered in another tutorial which is focusing on the galleries and trays. Ok, next hotkey. When changing parameters in Scratch you can click on a numeric value and then dial around the value just like uh, turning an encoder on your panel. If you want this dialing to be more subtle, you can hold down shift and then dial. And as you can see, now the control gearing here is much, much slower. Actually, you can set this up as a user setting when going outside the project and look at the user settings in Scratch. And here you have the control gearing. It says normal, which is a normal speed, and shift, which is the speed when shift is pressed. So you could as well swap those two values and have a more sensitive speed as your normal control gearing and speed the gearing up when holding down shift. Alright. And by the way, if you go to the curves, the curves also can be altered whilst holding down shift and then the movement will be much more subtle. Alright, last hotkey for this video is Control U. And that brings up 
this nifty little menu here, which lets you customize the stretch UI. So per default, this is set to color. But you can also set it to black and white or to custom. And now you can, for instance, change any font that is installed on the system. Let's go with this one. And you can also change, for instance, the player background and make it maybe a little bit more gray or change the control panel background to something more gray. You can literally modify any UI element and scratch with this menu. As you can see. And whilst we're talking about this, another important thing that you might find is when adding a node to a shot, like this, let's add a purple node that says uh, Quick Tips Demo. Okay. Pressing Ctrl U also can bring up this menu in the construct. And when you scroll down, you will find the sticky notes one, two, three, four, five. And the sticky notes five color is exactly this purple color. So if we want to change it for some reason to, let's say, something more pinkish, maybe like this, we can do that here. Just note that. This will change all existing color nodes, not just the one that's selected here. So you cannot add more colors, more sticky node types, but you can modify the existing ones if you want. And you can also modify the corresponding text. So if you think a white text overlay for the purple or pinkish colored node is, is not optimal, you could change the text color here. And let me quickly reset my control panel background. All right, that's it for Quick Tips Part 3. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helps you speeding up your work at Scratch. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.